I am Nana Dr. Michael Ejikum Ado. We are going to discuss the principles of success and wealth creation, honesty and reliability, hard work. Don't spend it all. After that, we'll discuss investment, how to invest. Then I'm saying that you don't have to forget your history, who you are and where you belong to. Then we'll touch on the God factor. Finally, patience. All these ingredients will go into one being successful. Then because entrepreneurship is the order of the day, we'll also discuss the entrepreneurial revolution in the 21st century. So that graduates and then those who will be watching home base would also arm themselves with the ingredients of becoming a good entrepreneur. There's going to be a series of both the principles of wealth creation which addresses attitude and that of the fundamentals of entrepreneurship. Home base is the action point. Stay tuned and go by the series. Thank you. Hello, we are now on principle number two, hard work. If you remember, principle number one was honesty and reliability. And we dwelt mostly on being a reliable person as a factor of success and wealth creation. The second principle is hard work. And what is hard work? Is it by digging? Is it by exerting energy? Is it by doing what? Normally, when we go to work at 8 o'clock and close at 5 p.m., and you don't read, you don't just go around chattering, then you believe you are working hard. To me, you are working normal. So what is hard work? What do you do before 8 o'clock? What do you do after 5? Complementing what you did between 8 and 5, to me, constitutes hard work. So let's discuss hard work. Hardworking people put a lot of efforts in their work. Effort in their work. They feel responsible for their success. The output is what matters to them. So if you just come to work at 8, get settled around 9. By 11, you are going for lunch. 2 o'clock, you are also there. My dear friend, there were some people at Okashi, center of Accra. And they would eat their fufu early morning, as early as 6 a.m. before they come to work. And they will be there till 6 p.m. that they close to go home. While they see people in Thai, well-dressed, 12 o'clock, they all walk for lunch. And then they come back at 1.30. This man with the fufu already embedded in the stomach will be sitting and selling and selling and selling throughout the day. I tell you. They are the group of people in Ghana who have considered them to be rich because they are hardworking. Let us look at these Chinese people. In the scorching sun, they will be there. In snow, they also work. But Africans and Ghanaians in particular, we will give excuses for not doing whatever we are doing because the sun is scorching. The weather is too chilly. And so what? It is raining, so he doesn't want to come, he doesn't want to work. So when it rains, the student will not go, the teachers will also not come, because it's raining. My dear friends, hard work does not consider rain or shine. You have to work hard. During hard working, you've got to be selfless. Selfless people are most of the time hard working people. They are not so selfish as to think about themselves Think about their energy that they are spending. No, you have to make sure that you are selfless. When you have gotten the plan for the day's work and you are executing according to the plan, be focused. What am I saying? Be focused. Go by your to-do list and try to execute them by whatever you have written down. So by the evening, you must be able to tell everybody that you've done so well. You've got to evaluate yourself. So your plan should be smart. That is, it should be simple. It should be able to be measured. It should be attained, realistic, and time-bound. 
any plan that you make for the day, call it SMART. Be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. Success in any endeavor, including wealth creation, cannot be obtained on a silver plateau. You've got to work hard. It takes much effort. You'll be happier knowing that you have systematically and successfully done your work well. Then you can take time to cool off with friends and loved ones. The next thing is stop complaining. My dear viewer, stop complaining. If you want to be hardworking, you must try not to find excuses for a job poorly done. The complaining character becomes a weight hanging on your legs, retarding the walk of progress. And I'll give you a homework. Google on efficiency and effectiveness. Most people think that they are being effective and eventually do not become efficient. You must have both effective, resource-oriented, and efficient meticulousness. Make sure that if you are a secretary, you do things well. We don't go for functions and realize that from the program, whoever is coming to talk is a different name there. You have to edit whatever you are doing. If you are a CEO, make sure that you go by what you say. And if you are a staff, make sure that your output is being loved by your CEO. A Dutch friend told me once, that people consider CBA, CBA. They start by complaining, then they blame others and eventually abuse whoever is involved. CBA, complain, blame, and abuse. And it's so funny, it, it, it really works for people in Ghana by watching how we behave. Then it means that, yes, we are the complaining type, and we are the blaming, we always want to pass the back. We don't want to accept guilt. And then we abuse. Abusing means we try to push the blame on somebody and say that he did not work well. It's not me. You are always defending ourselves. No, we should accept our faults and failures. We must be a happy worker. Nobody works hard if you don't love what you do. Look at these footballers. For 90 minutes, they'll be running from one end of the field to the other, sweating because they love what they do. They don't feel tired. What about you in the office? You, the marketer? You in the production? Are you complaining or you are working with love, smiling all the time, loving what you are doing? Please, practice these three. What you are doing have pleasure with it. That is smile. Have partnership. That's friendliness with your colleagues, with your team, before the profit comes. So practice three Ps. Pleasure, partnership, profit. Pleasure, partnership, profit. It's all part of being hardworking. Be the light switch at work. When you are there, everybody knows that you are there. And when you are not there, people feel, oh, we miss this person. Can anybody say that they miss you within the team? When they pass the ball to you, are you able to execute it better? If you are within the choir, what do you do? Please be hard working. Be a light switch at work. Light up your workplace, home or environment. Light it up. Smile. You are a couple. And you are always on your mobile phone. You've gone out and you're always on your mobile phone or on your computer. Oh, please, it's not the best. Let us show relationships. Let us show concern with one another. And that will make life more interesting. And to smile is a gain, no. but a frown is like a, a good picture in a bad frame. A frown is like a good picture in a bad frame. It doesn't come out well. So what are the benefits of hard work? A chief one day, and it's in the book, asked his subjects to work 
at his new construction site. They were to come with their own containers to work, while some came with barrels on trucks, wheelbarrows, and head pans. Others came with buckets, bowls, and cups. At the end of the day's work, they were all invited to a special room full of gold dust for their reward. They were to fill their respective containers with the gold dust. The reward for hard work became obvious. So you can imagine those who came with buckets and the cups, and those who came with barrels on trucks and wheelbarrows. They were better off. This story should buttress whatever you are doing all the time at each place of your work. Working hard is priceless. In all spheres of life, hardworking people are self-disciplined and self-motivating. They have always come out as exceptional and result-oriented. They keep working until they meet their targets or solve the problem. It's very important for wealth creation. If you dream about something good, if you've seen something in the street that you want to execute, don't feel lazy by trying your, your, your luck. Try. Start it. Don't give excuses of, oh, I don't have capital, I don't have this, I don't have that. Start it. What am I saying? I say start it. And how do you start it? It's the spark in you, the motivation in you that will make you start before the other factors come in. And remember that if you really want to set up your business, go by these six M's. Manpower. Machines. Materials. Marketing. Money. And minutes. Six M's. The most important of all the six factors, six M's, is the manpower. That is you. Most important. The least important of all the six is money. But if you ask any Ghanaian, any African, why are you not doing business? Why are you not in business? Why are you not working? Oh, I don't have money. I didn't have capital. I don't have anybody to give me. No. Start with nothing. And that is reputation. Whoever wants to do business with you wants to make sure that he trusts you. That's how hardworking people succeed. The economic benefits of being hardworking, wherever you are, if it's a business that you've been engaged in, you'll be giving wages or salaries. You have to increase your targets by getting bonuses, so you increase money. If you earn bonuses as you go beyond your set targets, that is the best. Social benefits is when you have worked so hard, and I tell you, hard work doesn't kill you. It's rather fatigue, mental fatigue rather kills. But if you work hard, like you are digging trenches, you don't die. But rather people that are thinking always, thinking, 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 they are the people that die in their seats sometimes, in their office, they collapse and die. Heart attack, because they're always thinking. So hard working makes people rather sweat. And in sweat comes out with good things. My dear friend, the second principle in this entrepreneurial revolution, after being a reliable person, is hard working. Hard work. Hard work gives you good health. And what is good health? If you have food, good food for that matter, and good air, open your windows for fresh air to come in. If it is air conditioned, make sure you don't sit in the air conditioned area for all the time, for all the days. No, sometimes go out. Don't go into your car, air conditioned. At home, air conditioned, your bedroom. Then at the office, air conditioned. You are killing yourself. You are not being hard working. Walk out. Do something, exercise. Go out there to the gym. Walk out for lunch. Don't sit in the air conditioning room to eat. It will not help you. And then you breathe out the carbon dioxide. Take a lot of water and make sure that you have energy. So physical activity combined with healthy eating will help you become 
a healthy person and a smarter person, your brain will be still sharp. Good food is obtained from a good diet. Avoid fats and oils. Too much sugar, salt and spices, caffeinated drinks and red meat are not recommended for you at all. Rather, eat more fruits and vegetables. Local foodstuffs such as plantain, cocoyam, yam, cassava, maize are very nutritious and are highly recommended. Green leafy vegetables like contumere are very rich in vitamins and drink more water as it has no calories. Fresh air, I've already told you, from plants is very, very important. Fresh air. So sit under trees. I see a lot of people felling their trees around their houses and rather putting canopies for their cars. No, I recommend that you plant trees to give you fresh air. Trees give oxygen and we give out carbon dioxide for the leaves. Sedentary games like Ludo, Scrabble, and other hobbies like reading and watching television have their benefits, but these are not related to exercise and good health. So in as much as you want to do sedentary games, I would admonish you to go out there and work harder. Football, table tennis, those exercises really help. Relax and sleep well to breathe out carbon dioxide that is generated inside your body and urinate and sweat out the water. And that is how good health is obtained. The rest is energy. Remember, if you want to be wealthy, be healthy. Because wealth is health. And health is wealth. Get involved in social events. Join clubs, societies, and gain both knowledge and experience. Just as a person cannot learn to spell by sitting on a dictionary. Eh? If you sit on the dictionary, that's not me, you are learning how to spell things. So can the person not develop the capacity to do anything without working hard. Shivkara, in his book, You Can Win, indicates that there is no magic wand for success. Rather, success comes to doers and not observers. Success comes to doers and not observers. I hope you are listening to me, you are watching me, and you are keeping record of all the good things that I'm telling you. With this time-tested factors of success and wealth creation. First one, if you remember, was honesty and reliability. Second one we are discussing is hard work. Hard work makes mastery. The best musicians, sportsmen, and other professionals practice every day. Hard work never hurts anybody. In fact, as you consistently work hard, you get used to it and your body will adjust accordingly. Hard work guarantees success at whatever venture you undertake. Winners such as athletes, they win because they work hard to get to the top. Working hard requires love for whatever you are doing. Good students work very hard. Sometimes they burn the oil in the night whilst others are sleeping. Take the work as fun and you will seldom feel tired. Remember, hard work does not kill. Fatigue rather kills. So find time to relax as well. Never forget that these three always pay. Prayers, hard work, and wisdom. Prayers, hard work, and wisdom. Thank you. For your friend, see old slide. So, man, be a bekoswa, nejina, ne man for a kofama, ene a mukika. Kabi mami kabi, a mamu oti, 
and now we are to meet Rana Jun Emma or Mino Ecoso. The same to the whole base television network. Yakov Jumedia be a bar, your friend of mine and Coswell. Mine Coswell Trasia, you are a seasoned journalist, politician, a man of four, and a cuckoo damn near Ninja for a basin good. And somewhere called Chilco Bremma, now what you mean, and a Bepamu to my cipher. Mine Coswell be a quasso. Mimi in the way, and Mimi in the Pia. If he and a panel don't watch so, a cosy non do so. A mine Coswell. I am in new how the billionaire cost you my gun? Be a fear had to call my gun. A pint in one would do a any a deal how any a beneath any a toda who and a ma others. Say, whoop a baby, a bit to our my gun, one in a yin, a sitting on so quiet, no calling a man, yama boy a yed. Now, what does I know when you're how in nature? Ya two a bad year man penny for some more shamra, and yamamu and go and for my Samson and penny for so I have tom, so wonder, and yam yaw do me as well doing the man on so a more and so for sea say. A moon tea and there was a shammy. RSM could feed to Lawson, and would you make the air to me being gun as he said. A drawder, a copim fiander, no mere no a copim no nine, nine and ten asset near me now. Yet, you can be mammy, can be a mammo dean, and you know, I am fire more and two. Gun as he said, I was someone's working. Well, I've been talking to you about hard work. And I'm saying that selfless people are also seen to be hardworking people. It's an attribute that you need to inculcate and develop and use, selflessness. There was a, a story where the red light showed and a lady pulled up her car. When the green lights indicated go, the lady's car would not move. Horns started tooting. The lady became nervous. She was alone in the car and automatically needed help. Hmm. Three young pedestrians, young guys, able men, happened to pass by. And the lady, of course, asked them for assistance, at least to push the car off the middle of the road. The young men asked for money before they would touch the car. But the lady did not have money with her, and so the young men refused to help leaving her to her fate. You can imagine how grateful the lady would have been to whoever could help her out of her embarrassing situation. She will definitely go into her car and obviously pull out her complimentary card to be contacted later. It was the third car behind her who parked at the shoulder of the road and helped her push the car off the road. The first two cars behind her just meandered their way around her and sped off. Who are we as a society? We should learn to think about the well-being of others, my dear friends. You will tell me that this day you cannot trust whoever wants to help you. They may even take your car away. But remember that your car has already broken down. So how would the person take it away anyway? Hard-working people receive favors one way or the other. Life is like a boomerang. Hard work requires effort. Make an effort to greet, to say goodbye, to say thank you, to say please, to say I'm sorry. It takes an effort. Thank you is worth more than money. Hard-working people are also obedient and humble. Please, you've made it in life try to be humble as well. And I'm saying that it's an attribute that goes with hardworking people who meet their targets. Be conscious of it and be aware. Hardworking helps. It doesn't kill. Fatigue rather kills. Thank you.
Have you ever wondered what plus size ladies go through? I'm talking about relationship, dating, family. Well, this is what Tech Choice is all about. I feel this platform because I know when I come here, mm -hmm. I'll get someone that I love and I'll meet myself at now. Because you can look at me. I'm very sexy mm -hmm. and hot. Oh, he wants to this thing in tree, right? Mm -hmm. No, wait, wait, when you tell me that she knows you, I don't get it. She knows you how? That you are a womanizer? She's quite so, you know,